welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to be introducing our brand new set, Wheelie Great Day, and its coordinating dies. We're also going to be introducing a reveal wheel add-on for Wheelie Great Day. The reveal wheel add-on also has a set of templates that make it easier to line up all of those cute critters inside of the window, and we'll be showing you how to use these all a little bit later in the video. We're also going to be introducing our brand new raffle tickets dies that are so much fun, and also our brand new Coaster Critters flip-flop, which is a flip-flop or mirror image of some of the cute little images from the original Coaster Critters stamp set that works so great with this brand new Wheelie Great Day. First up, we're going to be stamping out the Wheelie Great Day stamp set, and I absolutely love the Ferris wheel on this set. It is so cute, and it looks amazing on its own, but I also love that this set has cute little critters that you can put inside of those little Ferris wheel carriages. I actually don't know what the right phrase for that is. <laughs> There's a cat, a bunny, a bear, a frog, a fox, and of course, a little deer. And these little critters in those little Ferris wheel buckets there look so cute. We also have an individual Ferris wheel bucket, and I'll show you how to use those in just a little bit. And then a heart and a star that look really great in the center of the Ferris wheel. We have a large ticket, which is really fun for setting the scene, and then some phrases that can go inside of that ticket. So we can say ticket or admit one. We also have free hugs, which is super cute. And one of the great things about all of these cute phrases is they also fit in their raffle tickets die. And we'll show you that in a little bit too. We have free kisses and free smiles. We also have ticket to a happy day and ticket to celebrate, which is so very cute. Next up, we have an adorable ticket booth, and then we have some phrases that you could use on their own, also in the main ticket, or these ones also fit in that ticket booth underneath. So I really like stamping those in that area too. So we have wee tickets and also a hello. And then we have some different size smiley faces that you could stamp in this ticket booth or also on the ticket, and those would look adorable. You can even stamp that small smiley face in the middle of the Ferris wheel. And then we have some great sentiments. Have a wheelie great day and you're just the ticket for me. Next, I'm gonna use my Copic markers to add some color to these adorable images. And one of my favorite ways to color in the Ferris wheel is to do a rainbow of colors. It looks so happy and so fun. It just makes the whole card so cheerful. The other thing that's really great is to pick one bold color and color them all the same way. So like a red or a bright blue would be really, really pretty. Now, every time I color in one of those little Ferris wheel buckets or carriages, um, I'm gonna color in the opposite color there on the wheel. And I think that looks really, really pretty having the opposite color. It just feels like very nice to the eye when you look at it. So now we're gonna add some green and then I'll just go straight across to the other one and add some green on that side. And you can see just how beautiful this is looking. Now, because we've added all the colors but purple of the rainbow all around the carriages, then eventually I'm gonna add some purple to the center. Now I'm going to add just some nice brown. You could also do some kind of grays and silvers for the area around the Ferris wheel and then kind of like the main part that's holding up the Ferris wheel, the base there. And then I like to go in with a light gray marker and just add a little bit of detail to the white areas just to make them feel a little more special and then some light blue for the little windows. Now here you can see how you can stamp in that cute little star in the center. You can also do the heart or the smiley face. So I'm gonna color in the star and then now I'm gonna add that purple to bring in the rest of the rainbow right in the center of the Ferris wheel. Next, I'm going to color in that little individual bucket. And that individual bucket is meant for a couple of reasons. One, it helps you create the reveal wheel, and we'll show you that in a little bit. And it also helps you bring other stamped images into the Ferris wheel. So when you add these cute little critters here that I'm coloring in right now, you can just layer them right on top. But if you were to add something like, say, from Tiny Friends, or maybe a cute critter you find in another stamp set, you can help bring them into the Ferris wheel by using that individual bucket. And I'll show you that in just a little bit too. But right now I'm adding some color to these adorable little characters and I am just in love with these little guys. There's something about them being so mini and cute that makes them so fun to color in. So I'm adding different shades of brown for each of them just so that they each look a little bit different when I put them in the Ferris wheel and then add some rosy cheeks, of course. 
And then I'm just going to add like a nice golden yellow to the ticket. I was thinking of like the golden ticket from Willy Wonka. So I'm going to add some yellow there in the center. And then I'm going to bring in a darker like yellowy orange for the outside just to kind of brighten it up there so it's a little bit different than the rest. And then I had all of my markers out from coloring the Ferris wheel in. So I'm going to use that same rainbow of colors on my ticket booth. That way everything is going to coordinate really nicely. I also like doing alternating red and white for the ticket booth. It looks super, super cute. And then I'm going to use those same browns that I used on the Ferris wheel as well. That way everything matches really, really nicely. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Coaster Critters flip-flop stamp set. And so this set has three cute characters. There is a bear and a bunny and a really cute fox. And then we have some tickets that they can hold. So we have kind of like a string of tickets and then also an individual ticket too. And then this set has a really cute sentiment that says, enjoy the ride. And I love flip-flop stamp sets. What they are is we take uh, favorite images from different stamp sets and we do a mirror image of them so that you can have more characters to interact with on your cards. And so we've done this here for the Coaster Critter stamp set. And what's so fun about these little characters is they are perfect for using for that ticket booth and that whole amusement park scene when it comes to Wheelie Great Day. And then if you bring Wheelie Great Day and Coaster Critters together, you get the coolest amusement park and we're going to be showing you that in a really awesome slimline card in just a little bit. But right now I'm just using my Copic markers to add some color to these adorable little characters and I'm coloring them in similarly to the characters that we have in the Ferris wheel so that everything is going to coordinate really nicely and then I'll add that nice kind of golden yellow ticket color to those cute little individual tickets. Then next up, we have the coordinating dies for Wheelie really Great Day, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're gonna take those dies and we're gonna line them up with the stamped images, hold them in place with some low tack tape. Then we can run it through the die cut machine and have a perfectly cut out image. And I just love that Ferris wheel so much. And here is a look at all of the images from the Wheelie Great Day stamp set. And then some different ways that you can mix and match them together. So we can take these cute little characters and we can layer them into those little Ferris wheel buckets. And aren't those adorable? And so they're sized perfectly so that you can just glue them right on top of your Ferris wheel. And now you have a cute little Critter Amusement Park that's just the sweetest thing. They also fit perfectly in the ticket booth too. Now, something really cool is we have our brand new Fly High stamp set. Well, these critters are interchangeable. So that means that you can take the critters from Willy Great Day and you can put them in the hot air balloons from Fly High or vice versa. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So I'm gonna take some of those cute little critters from Fly High and add them in to the Ferris wheel. Now the characters look super cute like this because they have their little like paws hanging over, which is adorable. But if you wanted them to look a little bit more like the other characters, all you have to do is take that little extra Ferris wheel bucket and then you can just layer that right over top. And now they look a little bit more like the original characters from Willy Great Day. I think both ways look super cute. It just kind of depends on the look you're going for in your card. Now, another stamp set series that can fit in the Wheelie Great Day is Tiny Friends. So you can take like the Tiny Winter Friends, Tiny Spring Friends, etc., Tiny Sports Friends, and add them in. I'm gonna take the original Tiny Friends here. We're gonna add some cute little characters back in the Ferris wheel, and we're gonna add her there at the top. And this is especially where that little extra bucket is gonna come in handy. So instead of trying to trim her down perfectly to fit, all you need to do is just layer that right over top, and look, she looks perfect in there. I love how she's kind of like waving at the top of the Ferris wheel it is so sweet. The tiny friends also fit in the ticket booth as well, which is so adorable. So you can do a critter card, a tiny friends card, or you can even combine them, which would be super adorable. Next up, we have the coordinating dies for the Coaster Critters flip-flop, which you can bend apart at the tabs or use your wire snips to separate. We're going to take those dies, line them up with our stamped images, hold it in place with some low tack tape, then we'll run it through the die cut machine and we'll have perfectly cut out images every time. And here is a look at all of the images from the Coaster Critters flip-flop mini. And you can see how cute it is to have these little characters hold on to the tickets or even that big row of tickets looks just adorable. Now we're going to be taking a look at how to create the reveal wheel. So we're going to use that little bucket that we used earlier to bring other stamp sets into the Ferris wheel. Now we're going to use it to be able to create our reveal wheel. So we're going to stamp that out and add some fun color. And I love that bold red. 
Then we'll take the Reveal Wheel Wheelie Great Day add-on and we can line that right up with the stamped images. So you'll see it's just gonna line up just like a coordinating die. We'll hold that in place with low tack tape and run it through the die cut machine. And now we have this cool little piece that has the Ferris wheel bucket, but also a fun little frame over top. Then here is the original Reveal Wheel die. We're going to take the Reveal Wheel Wheelie Great Day add-on window and we're gonna pop that in the puzzle piece of the Reveal Wheel die. Then we're gonna die cut some craft cardstock with this and we're gonna have a Reveal Wheel panel that has that Wheelie Great Day window in the top. Now the next step to bringing your Ferris wheel into this interactive reveal wheel is we're going to need to trim off the top right there. So we're just gonna take our scissors and trim off right along the top of that area that we colored in gray. And you can kind of compare it to the bucket there and you'll see exactly how we trimmed it off. Then all you need to do is just add some tape runner to the back and then you can layer that part that you trimmed off right with the bottom of that reveal wheel window. Then you can take that Reveal Wheel Wheelie Great Day add-on piece that we die cut earlier. We're gonna add some tape runner onto that and we're just gonna layer that over top and you'll see that it's gonna look amazing. It's gonna frame that Reveal Wheel window opening and just look seamless with your amazing Ferris wheel. Next, we're gonna work on the wheel for the reveal wheel. And we're gonna be bringing out those templates that I showed you at the beginning of the video. And there are two styles of templates, one with four windows, and there's one with five windows. And just kind of depends on what style card you're gonna to wanna to make. Now these templates fit right over top of that wheel and they help you do your stamping so that we can easily stamp our critters onto the wheel without having to do any kind of fancy measuring or pencil lines. The templates make it so super easy. So you'll see that you'll just stamp the critter right in that window just centered and right along that bottom area and you can just stamp that in there and by using this template then your critter would change four times. Then next up we're going to take the five window version. Once again we can just line that right up with the wheel and do our stamping and we're going to do the same thing stamping the cute little critter there in the center and right along the bottom there of that opening and I love these templates because they make it so super easy. And if you have never made a reveal wheel before make sure to check out our original intro video we will link it in the description below. And now we can remove that template and you can see just how cute it looks with those critters. And then if you layer that right behind the reveal wheel, you can see that cute little critter in the window. Then to create the review wheel, we're gonna die cut that little circular base piece. And we're also gonna take out a brad. And we're gonna add that brad right through that little circular base piece. And then we're gonna put it up through the main reveal wheel and we're gonna open up the prongs to secure it in place. Then we're gonna add some foam squares around that little brad on to that smaller base wheel, but not touching the main wheel. Once we have those foam squares on there, we can remove the liner paper. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your wheel up to the window. You're gonna look through the window until your cute little critter is centered. And once you have that perfectly centered, you can bring it back down to your base and just attach that down. The next step is to add some foam squares to the back of your main piece. Then you can layer that over top and you will have a working reveal wheel that is so super cute. And later on in the video, we are going to be creating a really cute reveal wheel using this just a little bit differently and going through the entire reveal wheel process again. But next up, we are gonna check out the raffle tickets. The raffle tickets die come with, well, raffle tickets, and then these super cute words that you can die cut from the raffle tickets that are so sweet. Also a row of parts and a row of stars and an individual star and an individual heart. And you can see what those look like cut out of the raffle tickets too. One of my favorite things about the raffle tickets is they tear just like raffle tickets. So you could even use them as real raffle tickets or as a cute way to do kind of like a coupon book type gift. So there's a lot of fun ways to use these. And I love the look of the torn raffle ticket. Now here we've die cut one out of white and you can see you can layer it right behind so that you have that pop of color behind the either words or images as you die cut them. The other way to add decor to these raffle tickets is to use the Wheelie Great Day stamp set. The stamps in this have been sized perfectly to also work with the raffle tickets die. So you can see just how cute it looks when you stamp on these. It's really fun for decorating. Other things that you can do with the raffle tickets is stamp parts of your sentiment in them. And we're gonna be doing that just a little bit later in the video. I also think that it would be cute to stamp little images and Shari is gonna be doing something really cool with them at the end of the video too that I just love. 
The smaller phrases from the Wheelie Great Day stamp set also fit in the ticket, so you can say ticket to a happy day or ticket to celebrate, and you can see just how sweet it looks on the torn off tickets. They would be really fun for creating a background. So now that we've taken a look at all of the products that we're featuring in this video, we are going to start creating a card and we're going to start off by recreating a slimline card by Maureen that is just got to be one of my favorite cards of hers ever. It is so beautiful. And we're going to start off by die cutting one of the slimline stackables dies and we're going to be doing some stenciling on there. So we're going to be using this brick stencil to be the ground for our amusement park. Here we're going to take a long strip of post-it note tape just to mask off above this brick here because we only want brick along the bottom to be kind of like the ground for our cute critters, our roller coaster, our ferris wheel. We're going to be using some manatee ink for this brick and I love this ink for this type of brick, either making it the ground or even like a brick like in an indoor scene. I just think it's this really perfect gray that just looks really, really great across this brick stencil. So we're gonna build that color up and once we've inked up all of those bricks, we can lift it up and we'll see kind of our handiwork below. And then what's easy about the brick stencil is that you can line it up because you've got all these little rectangles to line up with. So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna line it up and then ink up the whole thing again. And then we have my favorite part of stenciling, which is the big reveal. And you can see how gorgeous this brick looks and how it's gonna be this really great, unique floor for our fun amusement park. Now these are the slimline cloudy stencils and I love these cloudy stencils. We're gonna be using some merman ink on this and what you do is you start on the stencil and then you move off onto your cardstock and that's gonna create these beautiful fluffy clouds. We have these stencils in both the slimline size and in the standard A2 size, the five and a half by four and a quarter because it is one of my favorite stencils ever. It makes the most beautiful clouds in the background and then you can see that there are two different stencils that have different shapes clouds. You have the fluffier clouds clouds and then kind of the bumpier clouds. And so you'll see that we're just kind of going back and forth here trying to see which cloud is going to look the best. And mixing and matching the clouds is what makes the sky look really special. So we just kind of keep testing it until you can see what's going to look great. We start on the stencil and then move off onto the cardstock. And isn't that sky just so beautiful? Oh, I love those clouds so much. Now for the images for this card, we're gonna have Wheelie Great Day, of course, the new Coaster Critters flip-flop and the original Coaster Critters. And then we're also gonna be using the stamp set Happy Village for some trees and clouds. It's always fun to kind of shop your stash and look for fun little scene builders. And so that's what we did here. This roller coaster is the one from Coaster Critters. And so these two stamp sets were designed to be able to work together, which I think is so fun for this super cute amusement park look. The Coaster Critters there has the individual coaster and then it has that little one that you can layer behind or not, but I like the look of it layered behind. And then now we're gonna bring in those trees that are from the Happy Village stamp set, and those are really gonna help set the scene. Then next up, we're gonna take those cute little critters and we are gonna layer them into our rainbow Ferris wheel. And once you add the critters in this Ferris wheel, this is just, oh, it's so cute. So this is gonna be a little critter amusement park. Once we have those guys added to the Ferris wheel, then we can add the Ferris wheel on to the card. And so you'll see it makes it look like the Ferris wheel is in the foreground and the fun little coaster is in the background since it kind of appears smaller and it gives some really great dimension. Then we're gonna add some more of those cute little trees to just kind of line the whole scene there. And then to help continue set the scene, we're gonna add the little coaster car there on the top of the roller coaster in the background. And then we're also going to be adding in some clouds into the scene. The Happy Village stamps, it has these cute little clouds. And then we also have our ticket booth from Wheelie Great Day. And so we're gonna stamp the word tickets into the ticket booth. And I think that looks super, super cute stamped in there. And then we're gonna layer that sweet little deer from the Wheelie Great Day into the ticket booth. So I love that those little characters look cute in the Ferris wheel and in the ticket booth. We can add some foam squares behind that and then we're gonna layer that into the scene. And I love the look of the rainbow on the Ferris wheel and then the rainbow on the ticket booth. They really balance each other out nicely. That Happy Village stamp set also has these cute little kind of fence posts, so we're just going to add those in. Once again, just kind of filling in the scene, really inspired by Maureen's card, although you'll have to check out Maureen's card too because she used some different pieces in hers. And then we're going to take those adorable Coaster Critters flip-flop characters and we're going to add them in. So you can see how sweet it is to see them coming up to the ticket booth holding their ticket. We also have this little guy holding the balloons that come in the Coaster Critters stamp set. And there you can see the fox that 
faces in the other direction. And it's so nice to have them facing in both directions because it really helps create a really cute swing. And then we're gonna add this adorable little bunny there. I just love him. And then we can go ahead and add some more trees, a little cotton candy for that bunny, and then some more clouds. The next step that we need to do is stamp the sentiment. Those are This is one of those moments where you're like, I should have stamped it earlier, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're gonna stamp, have a wheelie great day. And we'll stamp that in some black licorice ink at the very top of the card. And that sentiment is so perfect for this scene. This is so sweet. Then we're gonna take a slimline card base, which will be three and a half by eight and a half. And we're gonna add this whole panel on top. And now this card is done and it is so super cute. I love the look of Wheelie Great Day mixed with the coaster critters. And with all that stenciling to help create the scene, it's just such a happy and sweet card that just makes me smile. So this beautiful card had a lot of different stamp sets in it, some fun stenciling, and now we're gonna do a little bit more of a simple background. And we're gonna do that by using the dotted moon and stars backdrop. This is a new backdrop die and it's just so gorgeous and it makes the most beautiful subtle background. So we've die cut that out of some peacock cardstock. Here we have some cilantro cardstock and we're gonna be cutting that with this simple hillside border to create a nice little hill for our Ferris wheel to stand on. So we're just kind of measuring here to see See how high up we want our grass to be and now we have this great piece here and then we're gonna layer that with some white cardstock behind it there with a white card base and what I love about those moon and stars is that you could fill them with anything so you could do like pearlescent vellum you could do like some silver glittered cardstock or yellow I mean, you could really play around with it but the white behind it is nice and simple and clean and I think it just looks beautiful and then we can layer our little grassy hill right on top of that now for this card, we're gonna be adding our Ferris wheel on with the Tiny Friends stamp set, and they look so super cute with it. So we're gonna be using the Ferris wheel, but we're also gonna have our Tiny Friends, and then we've gone ahead and stamped out five of those little buckets and colored them to match the Ferris wheel. And that's what's gonna help us add all of our cute characters on. So that's how we're gonna do that. We're gonna take our Tiny Friend, we're gonna layer him inside, and then we're gonna layer that cute little bucket over top and that's gonna make him look like he's sitting in the Ferris wheel. And then we're gonna repeat that with all of the other characters. And this is so fun. You could color these characters like everybody in your family or like all of your friends. It's just so much fun to add the Tiny Friends in there and a new fun way to use the Tiny Friends stamp sets. I just think they look so sweet and cute in the Ferris wheel. So we're gonna add our last little character on and now you can see how adorable that looks. So with Critters or with Tiny Friends, this stamp set is so sweet. It's also really sweet just on its own too. And we're gonna be doing that in a card in just a little bit. So because we have a simple background, we're gonna pop this Ferris wheel on there to give it some nice dimension. We'll add some tape runner to the back of the ticket booth and then we can tuck another tiny friend there inside of the ticket booth and he is just so cute. And we're gonna add that on with some tape runner so that it's kind of in the background and our Ferris wheel is kind of the main star here. And then we have some more cute little tiny friends and they're actually going to be holding the tickets from the Coaster Critters flip-flop. Uh, that little dog is in that original tiny friend stamp set so he's so sweet. We're gonna add him on there too. And I love that you can use those tickets in the Coaster Critters flip-flop with the tiny friends as well. Now, I wanted to add the sentiment onto this card in a fun way, so we're gonna take those raffle tickets and we're gonna die cut some of this Spiffy Speckles paper, which is a really fun way to give a little bit of texture to these raffle tickets. And we're gonna be using this as a place to add our sentiment. So here is that have a wheelie great day sentiment. We're gonna take our scissors and we're actually gonna trim this sentiment apart so that we can use the words individually. And that's okay because if you want them all together again, you can just line them all right back up like a little puzzle and it'll stamp perfectly. But now we can stamp each one of the phrases in the little tickets and this looks so cute. So you'll see that each part of the phrase is in one of the tickets and then we're just gonna layer this onto the card. I like to keep the tickets long like this because then we can just trim off the extra excess with the scissors and we can have it like perfectly lined up. So we're just gonna line it up just like that and you can see just how sweet that looks and then just take your scissors and trim off the excess. And this is just looks so cute with the Ferris wheel and I think it's just a unique way to add a sentiment instead of using just a banner. 
Now, for the rest of the sentiment, we're using the brand new offset sayings every day, and we have this great, it's your birthday. So we're gonna stamp that out in some black licorice ink on some mermaid cardstock, and then we're gonna die cut that with a sentiment banner die. And this is gonna be the perfect little sentiment at the top. And I think the it's your birthday goes so nicely with the have a wheelie great day that's just so sweet. So now we can just add some tape runner to the back of this and then layer that onto the card. And this card is all done. It is so super sweet and so cute. I just love it. And it just makes me smile. It's such a happy birthday card. And this is just so much fun to put together. And it was so fun to create that we decided to create a critter version. So this little layout is just amazing. It's gonna be my go-to birthday card this year. And you can see on the left, we use the tiny friends and on the right, we use the critters. And it looks so cute either way. And I love that one design can have these two different looks. You could even leave out the tiny friends and the critters and just have a plain Ferris wheel and that would look amazing too. So now that we've created two cards with the amazing Wheelie really Great Day, it's time to create an interactive card with the reveal wheel. And we are gonna be recreating a card by Grace today that when I saw it, I just couldn't believe it. it. It was so much fun to look at. It was so much fun to create. I just love it. And so we're gonna be die cutting with the largest stitch rectangle. That'll be five and a half by four and a quarter. And we're going to be doing some inking here with our cloudy stencil. And this cloudy stencil just makes the perfect happy background for these Ferris wheel cards. This time we're gonna be using some kitty pool ink which is a bit of a softer color just for kind of softer clouds in the background because we're going to be doing some fun stenciling over top of this too. So we're gonna start on the stencil and move off onto the white cardstock and that's gonna give us these beautiful fluffy clouds. And I love this stencil because each side of the stencil has a different shaped cloud. So you can move it around and kind of pick and choose and see what clouds are gonna do the best. So you'll see I'll kind of like look, move it around, mm, I don't know, kind of mess around with it and then add some ink and build up the clouds and they just look so pretty. And what I love about doing these is it's very forgiving because if you add a little too much ink or a little too little, it just looks even more amazing. It just looks like this really, really cool cloudy background. Now that we have those beautiful clouds, we're gonna do a little bit of splattering. So I took that same ink pad and I just smeared it right onto my craft mat. I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna mix that together. And then I'm just gonna tap my paintbrush here and just create some little splatters in the same exact color of ink. It's just gonna add some nice texture to the background and I think it looks so pretty and it's so easy to do because I already had the ink pad out right there. Now we're gonna do some more stenciling over top of these clouds and we're gonna use the brand new corner rainbow stencil. And so we're gonna take some post-its here and just block off any area where I might get ink that I don't want it. I'm not a very careful stenciler so I am just put a lot of post-its on to be safe. And we're gonna start off with Kitsch Flamingo here which is a really nice bright pink. And we're gonna stencil right over top of those clouds. And what I love about it is that the clouds are gonna appear through the rainbow which is perfect because it just kind of looks like a real rainbow it looks so pretty and I love that you can see the clouds through it but I love that it covers up the clouds enough to really read as a rainbow. Then I can remove my little post-its. I'm just using a dry cloth here to just pick up some of that extra ink and then once I have that all picked up I'm going to take the post-its and I'm going to block off all of the areas that I don't want any ink to get to and now we're going to use this squeezed lemonade color and we're going to add that all over that kind of middle section of this rainbow. This stencil is a two-part stencil so we're doing three of the arcs and then we'll do the two middle ones once we add the other stencil on top. Now here is some shaded lilac, and this was a tip from Grace. This is kind of like a bluey purple, so to make it a little bit more of a pinkier purple, we're gonna layer a little bit of seedless preserves on top. And I added just the lightest amount. So there you can see that kind of bluey purple, and now we're gonna take that seedless preserves and just add a little bit over top. And you see as we bring in that reddish color, it just makes the purple so pretty. And then I just took that shaded lilac brush and just brushed it a little bit over, just to blend it all together. And now my favorite part of the stencil, we are gonna lift up the whole stencil and you'll see that we have this gorgeous rainbow forming onto our card. Now here is the second part of the stencil. And so what we're gonna do is just line that right up with the rainbow. And you'll see that the stencil has a little bit of an offset built into it. So a little bit of the color of each of the rainbow arc are gonna peek through the stencil. That's really good because that means that we won't have any white areas between our arcs. They're all gonna blend together really, really nicely. 
So now I'm taking my post-its and covering up the whole areas once again. And then I'm gonna take some abandoned coral and we're gonna ink that for our orange there between that pink and the yellow. And then once again, we're gonna take our post-its and we're gonna move them around, make sure to cover up all of the areas. And then we're gonna add some of that salvaged patina color as our blue. And we're gonna layer that right over top of the stencil. And now, oh my gosh, this is like the most exciting part. I just love it. Look at that stencil. Isn't it so cute? Oh, it's so pretty. I just love that rainbow over top of the clouds. Now, I noticed that I didn't line up my stencil perfectly right there at the bottom. That's okay. I wasn't super perfect with it because I'm going to cover up that bottom of the stencil. If I wasn't going to be covering up that bottom of the stenciled area, I would have been a lot more careful to line everything up. Now I'm taking a water bottle here and I'm spraying water and I'm doing a lot of water. There's a lot of sprays and then I'm taking a paper towel and just dabbing up the excess water. And by doing that, it's going to make the colors a lot softer. It's so beautiful and so pretty. And you can see as it all dried, it gave the rainbow this beautiful texture and made it feel a little bit more translucent. So just keep adding water to that ink and you'll see how beautiful it's going to look. For this reveal wheel, we're going to be using the square reveal wheel add-on and the reveal wheel wheelie great day add-on. And we're gonna drop that little window right into that puzzle piece opening, line it up just like that. And then we're gonna take this whole piece and we're gonna actually be die cutting that main base that we stenciled. And this is how we're gonna create a seamless design with our reveal wheel. So once we have that in place with a little bit of the rainbow at the top peeking out of the top of that die cut, we'll run it through the die cut machine. And now you'll see that we have our reveal wheel piece that has a bit of the rainbow and then a main base piece that has the rest of the rainbow and this is going to help us create a seamless design you'll see how it's all going to work in just a second then next up we're going to die cut that same size stitch rectangle and we're going to create some grass so here i'm going to take one of these grassy hillside dies and we're going to line that up that way it's going to cover up the bottom of that uh, little rainbow there but i also want to make sure that it doesn't cover up the notch of the reveal wheel so that we can still spin our wheel then we can hold that in place with some low tack tape and run that through the die cut machine. And now you'll see how these are gonna all line up. So eventually all these pieces are gonna line up like that and that rainbow is gonna look like it's coming out of the grass. So to have the grass match, we're gonna ink this up as well with Twisted Stitch On and then some Lucky Clover. And so it's mostly Lucky Clover with just a little bit of that Twisted Stitch On kind of in the top middle there. Then just like we did before, we're going to pick up some of the ink, the Lucky Clover, mix it with some water and create some splatters, trying to create some nice continuity between the grass and the background. And then we're going to spray a ton of water again, picking it up with the paper towel to create a ton of texture. And that is just looking so cool and it's going to match really, really nicely with our sky. So here you can see what that final look is going to be. Next, we're gonna start working on the reveal wheel interactive portion. And if you've never made a reveal wheel before, make sure to check out the intro to reveal wheel video. We will link it in the description below. Uh, but reveal wheels are just so much fun. And we are gonna be stamping that little individual bucket like we did earlier at the beginning of the video. And then we're gonna take the reveal wheel wheelie great day add-on and we're gonna line it up with that stamped image. We'll hold it in place with some low tack tape, run it through the die cut machine. And now we'll have this perfect cut out image. Then all we need to do is add some color to this image. So we're just going to color that in with a marker and now it's ready to start adding it onto our card. And then here we have a Ferris wheel that we've colored to match the colors of the rainbow. And then that cute little extra bucket there that we've colored to match that piece of the Ferris wheel. Now at the beginning, we use this for the top of the Ferris wheel, just like that. But we wanted to show you a different way to use this. And you don't necessarily have to use it with the top of the Ferris wheel. You could also use it with one of these side buckets. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna shift the whole thing over and have a little bit of a different look with the reveal wheel. If you remember at the beginning of the video, to create the reveal wheel at the top, we had to kind of trim off the top of the bucket. So we just trim that off like that. But now we're having this reveal wheel bucket be on the side. So now we're going to have to trim the side one off. And that one's a little less obvious on how to trim it. So I'm going to show you a quick, easy way to do it where you don't need to do any kind of measuring or pencil lines or anything. So all we're going to do is we're going to take that bucket and line it up right over the part of the Ferris wheel that we want to be the part of the reveal wheel. And then all you need to do is just take your scissors and trim right underneath where that little arch meets the Ferris wheel. That's it, just like that one little snip. 
And then you're gonna take your scissors and then just trim off at the top, just like we did earlier. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna trim off any of that excess part of the Ferris wheel that we don't need, and it's also going to trim off the top of that bucket. Then we can add some tape runner to the back of that reveal wheel one that has that kind of arch above it. And then we're just gonna layer that right on top. And you'll see how it's just gonna cover up that part we trimmed because we used that arch as a guide. So you'll see how beautifully that lines up. And now it's gonna give us the opening for the reveal wheel. So we can add some tape runner to the back of that whole thing and then just layer it right up with that opening. And this is such a cool way to use this reveal wheel add-on with a little bit of a different look. So you could have it in a different bucket at a different portion of the Ferris wheel. Now it's time to start decorating the reveal wheel wheel. So I've die cut that out of white cardstock and then we have our templates and I'm going to use the five window template because it just means more cute critters for my card. I'm gonna hold that over top of my wheel with some low tack tape and then we're gonna do some stamping. And so we're gonna stamp each of the critters in those cute little windows. I think it just looks so sweet. Even just as you're stamping them before you even add them to the reveal wheel, it just makes me smile, it's just adorable. So we're gonna add our cute little bunny there. And then we're just gonna take some markers and add some color to these adorable little critters. And so movie magic here, now they all have their color. And here you can start to see what it's going to look like behind that image that we've been working on. Oh, it's so cute already. So to create the reveal wheel, we're gonna take that small circular wheel base that comes with the original reveal wheel die. And we're also gonna take a reveal wheel scare add-on and we're gonna be die cutting that without a window in it. And we'll also be die cutting that little base. So we're gonna have this base here and our circular base as well. We're also going to be taking out some foam squares and a little mini brad as well. So the first step is to take the brad and we're gonna take the brad that's gonna go up through that smaller wheel base. And then we're gonna put that up through the back of our decorated wheel. And then we'll open up those prongs to secure the whole thing in place. Then we can flip it over and we're gonna add some foam squares onto that smaller circular base. And we're gonna add them around the brad but not touching the brad. Then we can peel up the liner paper on all of those squares and we're gonna pick up that wheel and we're going to add it behind our window and we're just gonna line up the little character so that he's centered and he's lined up nicely with the wheel, just like that. Then once we have him lined up, we can go ahead and just layer it right over top of the base. And they're the exact same size, so they're gonna layer together really nicely. And as we do that and we press down, that is going to secure our wheel onto the base of this reveal wheel mechanism. And you'll see that we can test and see our cute little characters moving around. And then we can take the main piece and flip it over. And then we're gonna add some foam squares and we're gonna be careful to add them into the corners, but make sure that they're not touching the wheel so that the wheel can still move freely. We can then peel up the liner paper on those squares. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our beautiful decorated window right on top. And you can see that bunny peeking out already. And it is just so super cute. And every time I make one of these, then of course I have to play around with it. Of course to make sure it's working, but also because it's just adorable and it makes me giggle. And then here you can see how this whole piece is gonna now fit into the card and it looks like a beautiful puzzle, but we need to do a little bit of decorating at the top before we can put them all together. So here we have our Henry's ABC's letters and we're gonna die cut the word fun out of some mermaid cardstock. And we're gonna be using the word fun and then some of the sentiment from the Wheelie Great Day. So to be able to line it all up and be nice and careful with our stamping onto this beautifully inked piece, we're going to be using a Misty stamping tool here. And so I'm gonna add my die cut letters and then we're gonna use that sentiment that we cut apart earlier for the card. It's actually gonna work out really great here because we're gonna have it say, have a wheelie fun day. And so we're going to surround the die cut letters with the stamped words. And so once we have those in perfect placement, we can pick it up with the door of the Misty. We'll then ink them up with some black licorice ink and then we can stamp them right on to the card. Then before I wanted to add anything else to this, I wanted to make sure it was nice and secure. So we're gonna add some tape runner to the back and we're gonna layer that onto a standard size card base. And that's gonna give this piece that has the huge die cut in the center of it a little bit more stability. Once that's attached to the card base, then we can start adding our letters. So we'll add some tape runner onto those and we'll spell out the word fun and then add some little white gel pen details just to make them a little extra special. 
Then we'll add some tape runner to the back of our reveal wheel mechanism and we can add it onto the card and it's gonna fit in just like a little puzzle piece and it's gonna complete the scene. And I just love how Grace did this. I love that she inked up one panel and then die cut it to be able to bring the reveal wheel into a different part of her card. It's such a cool and clever idea and I can't wait to try it more. Now to add our grass and make sure everything lines up, we're just going to add some foam strips there so that the height around the edges is going to match up with the height of the reveal wheel. Then we can add some tape runner to our grass and layer that on and we're just going to tuck that right underneath the ferris wheel. And then to help decorate the rest of the screen, we're going to bring in Wheelie Great Day for a bunch of images. And then we're also going to be bringing in the original Coaster Critter stamp set and we're going to be using some of those characters as well. And we're going to layer those into the scene. So first we'll add our cute bear and fox and then we have our ticket booth here and we're going to layer some balloons behind the ticket booth and then we can add some tape runner onto those and add that into the scene and then we can add the cute little cat into the ticket booth and also that fun little Coaster Critters bunny and then Coaster Critters has some cute little images like the flag and the fun little cotton candy and the balloons and now this card is all done and oh my goodness, I can't get over how much fun this was to make and how cute it is. It's just so adorable. This reveal wheel set just makes me endlessly happy. I can't tell you. I just think it's just the sweetest thing. And I love that a cute different character pops up into that Ferris wheel as you spin the wheel. So fun and so cute. Next up, Shari is going to be creating a gorgeous card with the raffle tickets. So take it away, Shari. So on my card today, I'm using that Ferris wheel from the Willy Great Day. I've already colored it in some rainbow colors and cut it out to match this rainbow paper. And I thought I would show you the Copic markers that I use to color this because I get asked a lot when I am matching paper. So for the red, I have an R22 and an R24. For the yellow, I have a Y35 and a Y38. For the green, I did YG03 and YG05. For the blue, I have B01 and B04. And then for the purple color, I have some BVs, BV01 and BV04. So those are the colors I use to match my paper. And then I stamped out the sentiment, you're just the ticket for me, onto the scrap piece of white paper that I have. And I'm using one of the sentiment banners to cut that out. Now I am going to shorten this up a little bit from the length that the die cuts. So I've got it kind of shoved to the left side of my sentiment. I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to line it back up, which is really easy to do because you can fill it snap against the cutting part of the die. And I'm just scooting it over to just cut off that right end and make it just slightly shorter. So I'll set these two pieces aside, and then I'm going to work on my background. I'm using the new raffle ticket die. This is a really fun die, and you can actually tear the ticket, which is really fun. But I wanted to make a rainbow of tickets for my background. So I'm using this 12 by 12 piece of really rainbow paper. This is the yellow brick road with those big wide stripes. And I'm just going to cut a strip of tickets from each stripe. So I'm going to have a few more than I need for my card, but to cut these out I'm just cutting each stripe individually and then I will cut one row of tickets from each color. So here are all my tickets and I'm just going to lay them out to where they cover the whole background of the card on a diagonal. So I'm just figuring out where I want each color and there's going to be about two colors that I don't end up using. Now that I have my layout of my colors, I can start to adhere them to the card base. So I'm just using some adhesive tape. And when I put them down, I'm leaving a little bit of a gap so you can see the white. And I'm also offsetting them so that the terrible part between the tickets is offset from each other and you get kind of a brick pattern. I just didn't want them lining up. I think this is a much better look for my card. So you can see the little notches and the tear is going to be centered up with the ticket from the row above. Now that they're all glued down to the base, I'm just going to take my really big scissors here and trim off all that excess on the sides. 
And I do have a couple full tickets left after doing this, so I could save those for another project if I wanted. And once I have these all trimmed off, I am going to go back through and if there's any tiny little pieces that aren't glued down, just get those with a little bit of liquid glue so that they don't catch on anything and pop up. Now I'm going to add a little more detail to my tickets. There is a stamp in this set. There's a few actually that fit perfectly inside those tickets. I'm just using the one that just says ticket and I'm stamping it in colors that match the colors of the paper. So you get this tone on tone and just a very subtle stamping of that word ticket. I don't want it to stand out too much because I want this to be my background and I want that Ferris wheel to be the part that really stands out. So you can see I'm just going through my little inks here, picking out the ones that I think match my pattern paper and stamping that word ticket on just a couple of them, not all of them. I also have a piece of pearlescent vellum cut with that stitch rectangle. That's going to be the panel that I put my images on so that they stand out against this background. It kind of mutes the background a little bit and you get some of that really fun shimmer. So I've put some foam squares all over the back of my Ferris wheel. I'm just kind of lining this up on my grid mat where things are going to go so I can space this well. And I'm going ahead and sticking this to the vellum and I will do the same with my little sentiment banner here using those same foam squares. And I'll just line that up on my grid mat and pop that sentiment strip on the bottom. And the reason why I did this onto the vellum before putting it on my card is because I wanted to know where my die cuts and my images are going to be to hide the glue behind the vellum. So since these are already stuck down, I know exactly where I can put my glue. And then I can just put this whole little vellum panel right onto my card base, right on top of those tickets. And then of course I want to add some glitter to my Ferris wheel. So I am going to be adding some to the horizontal trim of each of the little cars. I'll also add some to the center of the Ferris wheel and the round wheel part itself where all the cars are connected. And I think this glitter on that gray really looks cool. It has some really great shine. And then I decided I would add some right along the bottom as well. And then I'm adding some gold flat sequins. These don't have a hole in the middle, so they're just flat, kind of like a confetti. And I'm also using those as a way to hide a little bit of glue right on the edges of my vellum panel. So not only do they act as an embellishment, but they act as a way to hide your glue as well. And then here is my finished card. I love that rainbow Ferris wheel, but my favorite part are the rainbow tickets creating the background. Oh my goodness, Shari. I love these rainbow tickets so much. It is so cool, and I can't wait to make a card just like this. And next up, we have some incredible cards by the design team, and this card by Callie is so sweet. I just love the colors that she used. Here, Elena created a really cool background using the sunray stencil to create the cutest scene for this amusement park. I was so amazed when I saw this card by Audrey. It's just so sweet and cute, and I love the tickets with the elephant. Here, Rebecca created a reveal wheel that has the reveal wheel at the top of the card, and I just love that sunset scene. This ticket card by Elise is so sweet. I love the colors that she used and how she added those speech bubbles. It's so fun with the stamping and the tickets. And then here, Yainea used a brand new washi tape on the side of her card and used a circle cutout to feature her adorable Ferris wheel. And then this is the card by Grace that inspired us to make ours today. I just love those little characters spinning in the wheel and that fun rainbow. This card by Megan is so fun, and I love that the elephant from the Elephant Parade stamp set is taking a look at his elephant friends in the Ferris wheel, and those little elephants come from the Fly High stamp set. Here is the marine sim line that inspired us to make ours. You can see that she added more ticket boots and a cute little ice cream truck, and it is so sweet. And then this card by Kara is so fun. I love the clouds that she stenciled in the background and her beautiful grass. And then I love the colors that Leticia used here and how she used some of our new fishtail banners at the top. So super cute and sweet. So we cannot wait to see what you guys create with these new products, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!